Good morning. This is the original Shotgun Outdoors coming to you from the outdoors. I'm coming to you today to show you a little old treat that I have. Remember, I'm the original Shotgun. Anybody else claiming to be the original is nothing but an imposter. Oh, I got this cute little lady here bringing me some coffee. You say hello to the folks out there in camera land. Hi, hello, folks. How are you? Good morning. It's a beautiful day. It's a nice weather. There it is. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day and a beautiful girl bringing me some beautiful coffee. <laughs> so here we go. What I'm bringing to you today is, uh, is an oldie but a goodie. And I'm not an expert on this one, this BB gun here. But uh, I looked it up and stuff like that because I knew something was up with it. I'd never seen one like this when I first got it. And I saw somebody do a nice video on one. And uh, I can't remember the gentleman's name. He subscribed to me. So uh, I'm sure you'll get this video. But anyway, I'm terrible with names and I just don't remember yours right now. Uh, but uh, I appreciate the video you did. And mine ain't going to be nearly as good. But I'll try to be informative about it. Anyway, this here, I came across it. By, via my mom's husband, uh, stepdad. I call him a stepdad, but, you know, he didn't raise me or anything like that. I had a real father, but then my parents divorced and my mom remarried. And so he was my stepdad, Ed. Stepdad. Okay. So anyway, my mom liked to give away a lot of Ed's stuff. Throw it away, really. And she had every Tuesday afternoon, he would have to sit and throw some stuff out because... He was a bachelor for so many years, and if you know anything about being a bachelor, you collect a lot of stuff because there ain't nobody to tell you you can't, right? So that's what he did, and when he married my mom, my mom was like, you got way too much stuff, so he had to get rid of something. Well, anyway, a lot of times she would just give me stuff of his, and it's like, well, okay, I mean, what do I do with it? Some of it's good, some of it's bad, some of it I still have. Some of it has been moved along. Uh, but anyway, I had this golf bag that she gave me. And I looked inside. I don't play golf. And I'm, what am I going to do with these golf clubs? So, but I looked inside. And I'm glad I did because this is what was inside there. The Buck Jones BB gun. And if you flip it over to this side, it has a compass and a sundial with a little pin here. You stick a toothpick or something in there. A nail, maybe. I don't know what they were sticking in there at the time. But you can tell what time it is if you know how to use a sundial. Anyway, this little BB gun here, spring-loaded. It was all rusted up. It didn't do anything when I got it. I took it all apart and just cleaned it up with some uh, steel wool and some WD-40. My surprise, it worked when I put it back together. It's uh, got a heck of a spring to it. It's a pump action. And uh, I looked up about Buck Jones, and I didn't even know who Buck Jones was. I didn't know what this was. It, it, it's so rusted and stuff, I couldn't hardly read anything on there. But I managed to read on there very faintly, Buck Jones. So I looked up Buck Jones, and uh, he was a cowboy star back in the 30s. And uh, they made this BB gun in his tribute, Buck Jones BB gun. They only made it for a couple of years, so there's probably not a whole lot of them around. And uh, I know it was made for little kids, but I tell you what, the spring is strong. Watch when I cock it. And you got to really pull on that thing. I don't know if it was originally like that, but this one's like that now. And I never really shot it for accuracy, and I'm not going to today. Um, but I did take it to work one time when there were some raccoons. Uh, harassing us at work. We had worked in the, out in the country in a machine shop, and these raccoons were so harassing, and we'd have the garage door open uh, to the building because it was hot outside, and uh, they'd come right in and steal your lunch and run out the door with it. So I brought this one day because I'm going to fix that raccoon. So it worked pretty good out about 20, 30 yards uh, tagging a raccoon in the butt. And it's not strong enough to really do any damage to him, but I'm sure it left a little stinger in him because he took off running 
And uh, every time I see that raccoon and he'd see me, he'd be running away from me because he knew me. And he associated me with that sting I put in his butt that day. And um, I must have tagged him quite a few times. And uh, I managed to get him. The BBs in this thing, it's already loaded, locked and loaded. There ain't no safety on there. The safety is keep your finger off the trigger. But up there in the front, you spin this little thing. There's a little hole there that you can feed the BBs in there. I have no mat no idea what the capacity is of it but that's all you gotta do is just cock it back like a like you would a pump shotgun and boom fire away excuse me i forgot to put my uh safety glasses on uh, it's always important to wear these things you never know when uh, i've had before bb's hit the target and bounce back um they're not necessarily strong enough to go through there but, uh, yeah, you just feed the BBs in the top here. I'm going to throw a few more in there. Nothing special. I just got these uh, zinc-plated, ultra-smooth, galvanized uh, daisy BBs is what they are, if you're wondering what I'm shooting out of this thing. And I'm just going to pull a couple on my hand and try to get them down this hole. Um... Better do this when you're a kid. <laughs> this is easier to get it in the hole with smaller fingers. I'm probably going to drop as many on the ground as I get in the hole. Anyway, let's try. And there they all go on the ground. Uh, there's probably a right way to do this, and I'm sure I'm not the one doing it the right way. Got three of them in there, <laughs> and about 15 on the ground. Luckily, they're not too expensive. And I'm gonna pull them in there one by one. I'm just feeding them like this, and there's probably a better way of doing it. Well, looks like it's full. Anyway, you put them in there till you can't put them in there anymore, and then well, maybe it ain't full. That ain't full. I don't know what's in there. Anyway, then you just push the close. You cock it. I hear it hitting the target. Got a target out there. It's all shot up, so there ain't no, no point in me. Like trying to show you the accuracy of this thing because uh there's so many holes gotta shake it around sometimes cock it back again shake it around a little bit make sure they're down in there here man i go like this I can hear him moving back and forth in that tube. That'd be about at least 20 or 30 of them, I would say. I'm sure any kind of BB you could put in here, copper coated or whatever. There's the target. I don't know if you can hear that, hitting the target. I just missed. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can take a careful aim with this thing. Okay, something. What the heck, I'm hitting back there. Right, I'm hitting target now. Anyway, it's just a old spring-loaded. I would say it's a toy, but it's not a toy because you can hurt somebody if you hit them in the wrong place, especially the eye. But there you have it. Buck Jones BB gun. Made it for a couple years, maybe in the, in the 30s sometime. 
And uh, I don't know, Buck Jones made some movies. I don't think I've ever seen any of them, but maybe you have. And uh, if you have, that's who this is attributed to, Buck Jones. So this is Original Shotgun Outdoors saying, get outdoors and have some fun. That's all it's about is having fun. You don't have to be an expert at anything. You don't have to be proficient at anything. You just got to get out there and try to do some stuff. If you find something you like and you want to become an expert at it, so be it. But me, I just like getting outdoors and enjoying all this beautiful uh, scenery and country that our good Lord has given us. So you all have a blessed day. The original Shotgun Outdoors. I am the original. There is no other. God be with you.